Perhaps London and the United Kingdom's most recognisable building, the clock tower of the Westminster Palace, commonly referred to as Big Ben, has stood in place for over 150 years. But with the seemingly never-ending German bombing campaign of London during the Second World War, it's a miracle the tower is still standing. In today's video, we look at the day Big Ben was bombed during World War II. The Palace of Westminster's Clock Tower was built in 1859. At the time, it was the world's largest and most accurate four-faced chiming clock, standing at 316 feet. The tower has five bells, with the largest bell's name commonly used to describe the whole structure, Big Ben. You can see it here in more recent times, as it undergoes a restoration. The British Parliament has been held within the Palace of Westminster since 1295. However, after a fire, the building we see today was rebuilt in 1834. The German bombing campaign of World War II was referred to as the Blitz, and would take place between the 7th of September 1940 and the 11th of May 1941. The Houses of Parliament had long been a target for German bombs, but as the rest of London burned, the palace survived. That is, right up until the very last night of the Blitz. As the last German bombers flew over London at 12.36am on the 11th of May 1941, the first incendiary bomb struck the roof of the Ministry of Works and the back room of the Royal Court on the fourth floor. Around the same time, Westminster Hall and the House of Commons were struck by bombs. One of these would kill two police officers. Fire from the bombs began to spread throughout the building. The Victorian Tower, situated at the southern end of the complex, began to catch fire, as it was surrounded by scaffolding with wooden planks. Two bombs then fell on the palace, one of these causing damage to the piers in a court leaving the courtyard filled with rubble. The second bomb crashed through the roof and into a kitchen area, but failed to explode. However, the force of the bomb would kill the superintendent. As the bombing continued, many firemen were directed to the palace to fight the raging flames. One of these men recalls hearing a tremendous crash from above. Big Ben and the whole clock tower were enveloped in a thick cloud of black smoke. Rubble was falling all around us, and for a moment we feared that the tower had crashed to the ground. But Big Ben hadn't crashed to the ground. He had been hit by a bomb though. A high explosive bomb had hit near the southern clock face. This shattered the glass and caused it to lose half a second. The chimes too had been put out of action but Big Ben and the main clock mechanism survived the attack. Firefighters and other people in the area fought the fire for hours. At one point, well after the German planes had left, there was an explosion inside the building. This was found to be a delay action bomb, and the same one which had bounced off Big Ben. The explosion sent a huge amount of rubble into the main courtyard, where some 30 people were buried underneath it. Despite this, there were minimal injuries. In the end, there was significant damage to the palace, as well as the previously mentioned areas, the debating chamber, as well as the press and ladies' galleries were completely destroyed. After this, the government held proceedings in the Lord's Chamber until 1950, when the rebuilding was completed. This fact was kept a secret during the war, in order to prevent a German propaganda victory. Given the size of Big Ben and enduring eight months and five days of a bombing campaign, it's a miracle that it survived the war at all. But perhaps this symbol of defiance against the Germans helped lift the spirits of British men and women across the country. What are your thoughts of Big Ben being bombed during World War II? Are you surprised it managed to survive? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below.
As always guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to expand your knowledge and join the growing Premier History community.